Okay, cool, there we go. Um, decided to chop the video into two parts. Unfortunately, this was already like one big ass video. I decided to chop it in half, make them not so lengthy. Uh, you know, down to eight minutes something each video rather than the entire um, 16 minutes. So, I mean, that's a decent trade off. It should um, battle it off or some, whatever the fuck. The best black bloggers from 2012 from Mario Armstrong to Ngozi. Odita, here's our list of uh, our 2012 list of online scribes to follow. You know what? I might have to check that out later. Interesting. Hey, you, please help. We are hurt and pinned down and something, something. So here goes where I use my gem to save this person. They're done, dead, gone. They can go fuck off, so... Um, don't give a fuck about any of that. Not being rude, but, uh, you out your damn mind, if. Uh, people power. Okay. Not being rude, but when I have my headphones in, don't talk to me. How'd you take your damn headphones out your head, bitch? Uh, not being rude, but if you were on fire, I'd roast marshmallows. Uh, not being rude, but when I first saw you, I thought you were a Snorlax. Um, not being rude, but you're annoying. <laughs> not being rude, but you should not have a belly ring if it gets eaten by your stomach when you sit down. Uh, they have some stupid shit on here, though. Hmm. We're fucking up more monsters here, I see. Nobody... See, every once in a while when I'm doing commentary, I hop on Twitter like, Bitches, give me something to talk about. And nobody submits me an idea to talk about stupid shit. No, oh, shut the fuck up. You out your damn mind if you think music now is better than music in the 90s. Yeah. I usually don't give a fuck about what most people uh, have to say on here, but that's true, fair enough. Although everybody talks about the same shit on here. Let's see, oh, it looks like I finally finished that area. Hit the boss, and then I teleported my stank ass out of there to do more important, cool things and whatnot. So let's see, here in a moment. Any time now, maybe, possibly. Hmm. I'm really surprised this isn't all fucking up and getting out of sync on me. But since it's not, and I hope it doesn't turn out that way, I am more than glad to see that it, you know, is going over well right now and such. Excellent. Awesome. Sweet and cool. The others here will relieve to see that some of the farmers survive. Needless to say, so was I. You're a true hero. The heaven is always open to you. 
so long as we survive. Listen to me for a moment, stranger. You're a newcomer, and you're missing the big picture of the reasons why Sea Haven is here. I'm listening. All of the southern villages were destroyed. First, simply because they were in north and Sea Haven's not losing so many lives. As dark in the spirits of survivors even further, but there is nothing I can do about that now. It's the end of the world out there. And those of us that survived, you know, will grow reckless as we desperately try to keep our presence here as quiet and not noticeable as possible. Whatever forces are here burning villages and corrupting the forest, they are either unaware that the haven is an abandoned, or they are simply allowing us to live. I don't enjoy the notion of the second possibility. The forests here have been quiet for most part, still we don't travel out much, and we lay low. A few nights ago, we started seeing lights on the edge of the forest crater. There's something. Something. What kind of light exactly? A great growing light. Powerful. Not like a campfire. It's grim and pulsating like some evil magical force. Something's out there on the edge of the crater rim. Everyone here feels like it's an eye watching us, waiting to strike. But that's not even what bothers me the most. Go on! The lights are coming from thy abbey, an old abbey that was full of peaceful monks and abbots, and we know that the abbots are abandoned, or they were killed. Perhaps the lights are nothing, just meaningless lights. Perhaps you are right, but the village cannot live in fear. Especially fear of the end of the world. Any answers, anything to bring hope will bring the people together again. I could go there and fuck shit up. Listen, you seem like a person. Came here to the broken lands with a purpose. One that's your business, and that's fine. All I'm saying is if your purpose takes you up to the crater rim, well, be careful. And if you want more answers, talk to the Abbot Fawn. He's the only one that survived. And supposedly that's who I'm gonna go talk, supposed to go talk to, but I didn't even realize it until I went to turn in the fucking quest after the fact. Anyway, coming to an end here momentarily. I want to thank you for watching all that good shit, and uh, I'll see you whenever so, that is. Bye. Lying?